I'm going to be putting together the Daedalus 3 inch. It's 8 feet long. Um, it's projected to go 11,500 feet in the air, go more than Mach 1. Not concerned anymore. So now it's the fun task of taking this out. This is black powder. Um, the secret about black powder is that you want the finest grain possible. And the reason why you want fine grains is because you want them to light instantaneously. The larger the grain, the longer it takes for it to burn all the way through. So you want this type of grain, this is called 4F, 4F. That denotes how fine it is. This is usually used in flint rifles so this is the ejection charge, uh -huh. and the way it works is that's a 10 millimeter centrifuge file, and then inside of it, you can see right there, okay, you got that match. is the E-match. That is actually super glued to the bottom with a uh, hole okay. and a lead sticking out. Those leads screw into this PCB terminal. That terminal is soldered to this monoplug, and that whole thing slides into what I call the, the round casing. I call this an ejection round, and you'll see why in a second. So that all goes into here. Oh, we're here for safekeeping. It's gonna go in this rocket. So this is the AV bay. And when it's all done, those rounds go in and they screw into place. Oh, that's a genius. <clears throat> so they're sealed, everything. They're sealed and everything. They're not messing with wires connecting them. There's no wires hanging out. It's a minimal wire. And it's designed this way because when you look at the inside of the AV bay, inside of the AV bay is also minimal wire. Wow. So these <clears throat> sit in here. That's the terminal leads. Well, like slide, right. Just go right in there. Oh, yeah, wow. actually, let me do one because I have to do it anyway. So let me get this taken out. Now, did you? 3D. Yep, I designed and 3D printed this entire thing. How long does it take to print something that, that big? Uh, this took about a hundred hours to print. Wow. It failed twice. Oh, did it? Yeah, so it took a lot of time, energy, effort. I was out of town for three of the days it was printing. And as easy as just sliding it in. Just bring them down. So that bleed has inter internal wiring that goes up to these here. <clears throat> yep, that's in okay. here. So that's how I access it. And it goes up into here. These battery leads go to the different battery ports. And then in the middle are three switches. So that I can prep it, get all prepped to go, and then turn off the power with a switch. This is the motor that's gonna go inside of here. This is a CTI L935. That's 935 newtons of average thrust. Not total thrust, average thrust. 